guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Pack Club Timer 3. Uh, it is a super compact um, shooting timer and really what I wanted to show you guys is some of the features that I think are really useful. Go over it just very quickly for you and just try and simplify the mystery that's around these devices because really I think people overcomplicate them far too much. Uh, it comes in a very plain cardboard box, nothing exciting there. You get the uh, shiny instructions which are written in English. Um, you can adjust sensitivity, of course you can review uh, what you've got going on. You think it's fairly simple but even when I was reading this um, I started to get a little bit confused so hence the reason for the video the batteries come supplied in here it's got a nice belt clip it's pretty small uh, that's the area where the sound comes out it is really loud you've got four buttons and it's really easy to get to especially if you've got this on your belt so to turn it on you press the green button and it will be set for whatever you had it set previously so um, this is now listening for a shot so obviously if you start shooting, this will start recording your uh, intervals and such likes. Um, and you can also set up your delays and part times and what have you. So mine's already pre-set up from the shooting clip you saw there. And that's, um, that's set for a two second delay on the par um, after the button is pressed. So with the uh, unit switched on, if you press the go button, um, there'll be a delay between two and three seconds. It is randomized. Uh, and then basically, depending on what mode you've got it set on, uh, so in our case, uh, pass set, as soon as I press the button, there'll be a beep, which will mean you start shooting, and then of course, you'll have a, uh, a beep two seconds later. So I'll show you that, and it is very loud, so I apologize for headphone users. Okay, and then, and then there's your second one. So if you press this uh, RVW button, which is actually the review button, it will reset it and it's ready to go. The device is actually listening for shots as well all the time. Now, um, in order to turn this off, you just press and hold either the up arrow and go or the down button there and go and it will turn off. And in order to change these settings, you basically press and hold the bottom two. So you see there, we've got uh, two different modes there. You've got delay and instant. Obviously, if you say instant by pressing the down button, um, as soon as you select that, uh, you can also enter your par there, which I'll show you in just a very second. But as soon as you press the green button, basically activate. And likewise, if you press on the uh, delay by pressing the up arrow, uh, set that. And if you press it again, you have the option to add your par times. And literally all you do is you press the RVW button and it will select the characters for you and you use the up and down arrows to change them accordingly. Okay, so that way in this case, as soon as we press the button, give us a delay of uh, two to three seconds and then um, no further sound. But if you do set a par time like I did, just like that, um, then it's all set and then you'll get a two second delay but you can set this to um, whatever you like um, and that's pretty much it with the actual club timer itself so it's super super easy to use now like I said because um, I was using a suppressed gun this isn't going to hear the shots especially at the range I was at and also using the caliber of weapon so in order for you guys to train the best thing you can do is um, set yourself up a challenge whereby on the sound of the buzzer you start your shooting and then give yourself a time challenge to complete the course of fire uh, in the specified time. So in our case, it was two seconds, which you saw within that time specified, finish the shooting using that time wisely and trying to keep your accuracy up. So yeah, it's a super compact unit, really nice loud buzzer, quite easy and friendly to use once you get your head around the menu system like I said. Now another really interesting point about this is it's not just for firearms use, you could use this for other forms of shooting sports. The timer uh, doesn't light, it puts you under pressure. Time is a set quantity so you can choose how fast or slow you want it. Um, but anyway guys, um, that's pretty much it. This is the Packed Club Timer 3, it's a super awesome tool for training for firearms for shooting in general and guys I hope this helps you out uh, if it does let me know by dropping a like uh, if you want to stay up to date with the latest things we've got going on just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time take care